Hey everybody, I'm Sam. I'm part of the marketing team. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add videos to your store. You can see here I've got a single video as well as a video bar kind of Netflix style in my Shopify page. These both are powered using single app blocks. App blocks are available in the Shopify theme editor. And you can kind of think about them as drag and drop UI elements that allow you to customize the look and feel of your content that you've uploaded and are hosting in single. You could get a preview of what that looks like here in single with this app block called single video hosted using a video ID to pull in this one here from your single account, as well as this video collection bar using a tag to surface members only behind the scene content. So that's what we're looking to set up. Let's go ahead and actually remove these blocks um, so that we could set this up together from scratch. And now we've got an empty page and it brings us to our single account. So let's log in, navigate to the video section. And from here, you could upload your videos. In the upload process, you'll be able to add a title, creator, description. All of this is important because it will surface in your Shopify store with our app blocks, but you will have the ability to turn some of them on and off. But what's really important when you're uploading is two things. You get a video ID, which is helpful for that single hosted app block that we looked at before, as well as tags. This video doesn't have any tags, but that's okay, because as you can see, we're still able to use its video ID. We'll just copy that right here um, to make it a large single video in our storefront. So click add block and then search single hosted. You can see right there, we've got the single hosted app block and clicking into it, it pulls up the single video ID, which again, you could find in your single account. I said before that you could tweak some of what appears once you actually add it, like the title, the description, the artist, and so on. You could even adjust additional settings, but I like to keep it default. This looks good. I'll click save. Note that this is for video on demand files, but you could also find a video ID for other video content in your store, like even live streams. So now that we've got this pulled up, I'm going to give you a look at what else is on my video library. You can see here, I've got a lot of content and some of the content that I uploaded had a tag on it. Like I said, that tag is really helpful because I could just copy it and jump to the theme editor in Shopify to click add block and then search for a uh, collection. Let's see what comes up. Video collection bar and then tap into it. You can see that it defaults to having all of my videos appear. If that's what you're looking for, that's great. You can even see it's got a live stream but I'm not looking to show all videos on this page. I'm gonna take that tag, which is helpful for grouping your on-demand and even live stream content together based on a theme, and it will surface that content here. And you can see I've only got three videos tagged with that, so it was helpful in narrowing down that content on this page. You could change the maximum number of videos as you'd like. I'm gonna set it to three so that the page automatically adjusts and only shows three content pieces um, pretty neatly organized underneath the video bar. You could also click this button, enable view all for more. I'm just gonna turn it off. And then like our last app block, you could very much turn um, these video cards into more customized options with turning on the video title, video date, artist name, and so on even adjusting the border radius. But I think this looks good to me, so I'll click save. And then we could jump back to this page that I showed you initially and then click refresh. And you can see here that we've got everything um, just as we, we designed it in our Shopify theme editor. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.